So let's talk about the Unify Protect All-in-One Sensor. In Unify, you have a limited set of capabilities for how to integrate with the sensor and see the values. You can only see the momentary values. Those limited alerts. You can't say any graph of what the historic values have been, etc. But what you can do is you can go in, integrate with Unify Protect in Home Assistant and get, for instance, graphs of humidity or temperature over time. So how do you do that? In your integrations, you add new integration, you go to Ubiquity and click on Unify Protect, which I've already added for sure. So you type in the host port, etc. In the integration, when you have enabled it, you can see the devices. In this case, I only have one device. I don't have any cameras. So, so you can see the device name. You can see all the sensors it have, has um, humidity level, last motion detection, temperature, etc. Unfortunately, the values for light level, humidity level, and temperature they update really f unfrequently, like every 15 minutes in my case. That's kind of bad, because what you can do in Home Assistant is you can create automations connecting to the files. So for instance, here I've done a something called a, a um, when the sense contact is opened that is when i open my door in the in the room where i have the sensor i then check if there has been motion meaning that if the door has been opened from the inside or outside and depending on that i flash some lights in my room saying because i'm hard of hearing so that i can see did my wife get into the apartment or did she leave the apartment? So using Home Assistant, you can benefit much more from the features that are in the UP Sense. However, since the sensor updates for light level, temperature and humidity is really slow, you can't, for instance, connect a automation for dimming a light, say, uh, depending on the light level. So only light up, um, only turn on the light if it's not sufficiently lit in the hallway already. Because if the, if the motion detection is right now, the motion and door open sensor is triggering directly but if you don't have access to the updated value for the light level at that point of time, then you can't utilize it in an automation. So, thank you.